Imagine a world teetering on the brink of a catastrophic conflict, a conflict that would reshape the course of history. This was the world in the early 20th century, on the eve of World War I. The dawn of the 20th century marked an era of unprecedented progress and innovation. Yet beneath the surface the world was a simmering cauldron of social and political tension. Nationalism was on the rise, imperialism was at its height, and industrialization was rapidly changing the face of warfare. Europe was a complex web of alliances, rivalries, and tensions. The major powers of the time, Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire, formed what was known as the Central Powers. These nations were characterized by their militaristic cultures, imperialistic ambitions, and authoritarian regimes. That spark came in the form of an assassination on June 28, 1914. That day, a bullet fired by a young Yugoslav nationalist named Gavrilo Princip, sealed a fate that would change the course of history. The target? Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne. The Archduke was visiting Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia. This region had been annexed by Austria-Hungary in 1908, much to the displeasure of Serbia, which had its sights set on the territory. It was a simmering cauldron of ethnic and political tension. Now let's consider Princip. He was a member of a secret society called the Black Hand, which sought unification of all South Slav territories including Bosnia under Serbia. His bullet didn't just take a life, it set off a chain reaction that would lead to the death of millions. News of the assassination sent shockwaves across the world. Franz Ferdinand was not just a man, but a symbol of a complex web of alliances, rivalries and tensions that had built up over decades. His death was a direct affront to Austria-Hungary, an empire with powerful friends. The Austrian government, backed by Germany, sent an ultimatum to Serbia demanding a series of measures to punish those responsible. Serbia, backed by Russia, complied with some demands but defied others. This defiance led Austria-Hungary to declare war on Serbia on July 28, 1914, exactly one month after the assassination. As the news spread the world held its breath, nations began to mobilize their armies, ready to uphold their alliances and protect their interests. The assassination had been the spark, but the kindling had been laid out long before. A complex network of alliances, economic pressures and nationalistic fervor had set the stage for a conflict on a scale never before seen. The dominoes were set in motion, and the world was about to descend into chaos. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand was the spark that lit the fuse of the First World War. In its wake, the world would never be the same. The assassination was the match but the tinderbox was years in the making. You see the world of the early 20th century was a tangled web of alliances and treaties that bound the major powers together. These weren't just simple friendships. They were complex intertwining agreements that pledged nations to one another's defense. In the heart of Europe, the dual alliance of Germany and Austria-Hungary stood strong. They were later joined by Italy forming the Triple Alliance. On the other side, the Triple Entente of France, Russia and Britain posed a formidable counterbalance. These alliances weren't static. They shifted and evolved, creating a delicate balance of power that was easy to tip. When the Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated in June 1914, it set off a chain reaction. Austria-Hungary, backed by Germany, declared war on Serbia. Russia, bound by treaty to Serbia, came to its defense, and Germany, honoring its commitment to Austria-Hungary, declared war on Russia. France, aligned with Russia, was then dragged into the conflict. And when Germany invaded neutral Belgium to reach France, Britain, pledged to protect Belgian neutrality, declared war on Germany. This was the domino effect in action. One by one, nations were pulled into the conflict, not necessarily by choice, but by the obligations of their treaties and alliances. It was as if the world was caught in a vast uncontrollable current, swept along by the tide of events. And it wasn't just Europe. The tendrils of these alliances reached across oceans, drawing in nations from around the world. From the distant shores of Japan to the vast plains of Africa, from the burgeoning cities of America to the ancient civilizations of the Middle East, the world was ensnared in the conflict. The dominoes had fallen, and the world had tumbled into war. The intricate system of alliances and treaties that were meant to preserve peace had instead plunged the world into chaos. The stage was set for the first global conflict in human history. With the benefit of hindsight one can't help but wonder, could World War I have been prevented? 
As we delve into the past, we find ourselves confronted with a multitude of theories and perspectives attempting to answer this very question. The general consensus amongst historians is that, indeed there were several opportunities for the Great War to have been averted. However, these opportunities were overshadowed by the political climate and diplomatic failures of the time. Diplomacy, or more accurately, the lack thereof, played a significant role in the lead-up to the war. The intricate web of alliances, ententes and treaties meant that nations were obligated to step into conflicts that they might have otherwise avoided. The diplomatic landscape was such that a minor conflict could, and did, escalate into a global conflagration. Now let's consider the role of communication. In the early 20th century the means of communication were not as advanced as they are today. Misunderstandings and misinterpretations were rife, important messages and intentions were often lost in translation, leading to unnecessary escalations. Furthermore there was a distinct lack of understanding between nations. Nationalistic fervor, coupled with imperialistic ambitions, created an environment of suspicion and mistrust. Nations were more interested in asserting their dominance than in fostering international cooperation and understanding. So, could better diplomacy, communication and understanding have prevented World War I? The answer is not definitive, but many historians believe that they could have played a significant role in de-escalating tensions. However, it's also important to remember that history is not a straight line, but a complex tapestry of interconnected events and decisions. The path to World War I was not set in stone. It was influenced by a multitude of factors, some of which were beyond human control. In conclusion, it's clear that there were opportunities for the Great War to have been avoided. However, these opportunities were overshadowed by the political climate and diplomatic failures of the time. Perhaps with better communication and diplomacy, the world might have avoided the horrors of World War I, but that is a question for the ages. World War I was a cataclysmic event that changed the world forever. Its aftermath sent shockwaves through the globe, altering power dynamics and reshaping nations. The Treaty of Versailles, signed in June of 1919, marked the official end of the war. It held Germany and Austria-Hungary, the Central Powers, accountable for the war, and imposed heavy penalties. These penalties included loss of territory, disarmament and reparations that crippled the economies of these nations. The treaty, instead of fostering peace, sowed the seeds of resentment and laid the groundwork for future conflicts. This was a significant lesson, demonstrating that punitive peace treaties can lead to further instability instead of ensuring lasting peace. In the wake of the war, new nations emerged from the remnants of the old empires, the map of Europe was redrawn with countries like Poland, Czechoslovakia, and Yugoslavia gaining independence. These changes however brought with them a host of new challenges, including ethnic and territorial disputes that continue to echo in our present day. Beyond Europe, the war also led to a shift in global power dynamics. The United States emerged as a global superpower, its economy strengthened by the war. This shift marked the beginning of the American century, a period of American dominance in global affairs. The war taught the world several valuable lessons. It highlighted the dangers of nationalism and militarism, and the fragility of peace. It underscored the need for international cooperation, leading to the creation of the League of Nations, the precursor to our modern United Nations. In the end, World War I was a grim reminder of the destructive power of war, a lesson that humanity must never forget. It served as a poignant testament to the fact that the path to peace is not through punishment and vengeance but through understanding, cooperation, and mutual respect. These lessons, learned in the harshest way possible, continue to shape our world today.